All right, listen, this is very exciting. Kelly was just in there thing. I wonder about the history of this. So this is called Live's Recipe Rewind. Today we're going to learn about a dish that warms you up and tastes good. It's the perfect thing to eat on a cold winter's day. It's, of course, chile con carne. Yes! Right? But how did it all come about? Where? <laughs> Chile con carne, so comforting and delicious, it's a carnivore lover's dream, and there's nothing better than a big bowl of hot and spicy chili. In Spanish, chile means pepper, and con carne means with meat. But how did this meaty, peppery goodness come together, and where did chile con carne come from? Did it come from Spain? Is it, as many believe, from Mexico? Or is it an American dish? Let's investigate. Sometimes referred to as a bowl of red, chili con carne is basically a stew of chili peppers and beef, and there are countless theories about its origins. Some believe the recipe was invented by a mystical blue nun from Spain. Others credit families from the Canary Islands who settled in San Antonio, Texas in the 18th century. The Canary Islands were known for their Spanish stew with simmered meat, garlic, chili peppers, wild onion, and cumin, which is similar to chili con carne, but different. Traditional chili con carne is made with chunks of meat, peppers, and a variety of spices, but no beans. But some people love beans in their chili con carne. Beans or no beans, it's a very heated topic. The chili con carne that we know and love may be inspired by the flavors of Spain and Mexico, but it was invented north of Mexico in Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Chili con carne was introduced and sold at the open air stalls at the military plaza Mercado. Women known as the chili queens made vats of it at home, brought it to the plaza, and everyone came to devour it. It was cheap, easy to make, and so good to eat. It's like the chili queens were the purveyors of what would be the equivalent of the very first chili food truck. Then in 1893, chili con carne was introduced at the Colombian exhibition at the Chicago World's Fair. Word spread, and the rest is history. Some say chili con carne is the original fast food and the grandfather of what was to become Tex-Mex cuisine. I say I'll have mine with cheese, please. <sighs> you were like so zoned into that. You know, I was like, you didn't I know. would eat that. Yeah, and you had no idea about it. All right, so coming up, chili con carne recipe after this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make it with a twist. Get ready, everybody. Get ready. He's the owner of seven hit restaurants in Kentucky and Alabama and Ohio. And it all began with his original creation, Super Chefs. Here now with his own super twist on chili con carne is Darnell Super Chef Ferguson. Nice to see you, Darnell. I mean, what you're going to teach us is that eating this will change our physique, right? Yes. yes I'm going to, Instantly. Ryan, when we get done, you're going to look like me. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. I can't wait for height. <laughs> All right. Promises, so, promises. Get, yes. Wait, your middle name, it's National Celebrate Your Middle Name Day. Yours is actually Super Chef. Actually Super Chef, yes. That on, is your, on your license. On my license. Is it a family name? It is now. <laughs> it is now. And you're living up to it. All right, what are we making today, Super Chef? So we are going to do the ultimate remix and rewind on chili con carne. We are doing chili con carne lasagna. Okay. Which oh, really? is amazing, by the way. Not just because I made the recipe, but because it is. And is that something indigenous of the Ohio region? It's definitely. Chili by itself has been rewind in Cincinnati in many ways different than how it began. Okay. So it's really big in Ohio chili. So let's get started. I understand this is boneless meat. This boneless meat is called short ribs. So I'm going to have you start with pulling the short ribs apart. Okay. And then me and you, Kelly, we're going to start on cooking, okay? We sure are. All right. Yes, so we're going to take are. this oil. I'll be over yes. here. You take care of it, Kelly. We're going to yes. go ahead and put a little oil in there, right? Mm -hmm. no. We're going to saute your onions and garlic uh -huh. first. Okay. You hear that good sizzling yes, sound? Yes, I there? like a sizzle. Things mm. are getting hot. <laughs> Got that going right inside. <laughs> He is moving so fast yes, that I'm going to have is. to hire him part-time. Listen, yes. okay, so because we've got go a busy dining room out yes. there. Stir together. So while this is sautéing, Ryan, this short rib was braised with red wine stock, oh, cinnamon red, sticks, red. because cinnamon oh, usually cinnamon goes in chili. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now you're going to add your poblano peppers, Kelly. Okay. Those are green. No, yes. you got it. Okay. I know. I was not sure which one. <laughs> All right. Those sauté for a quick second. We're going to okay. move right along. Now we're going to add our tomato paste. Oh, okay. Yes. Go ahead, put it in there, try to stir it around. Is that, is, that, is that for thickening? It's for thickening and it's for a real flavor of tomatoes. Okay, you know, that's going to yeah. back it up. That was great already, Kelly. So, we're going to add our spices before we add our tomatoes. That okay. way they can open up, give a little aromatic to yeah, it. So we got yeah. chili pepper. Uh-huh. We have cayenne. Yes. 
You have basil, oregano, and parsley. All three are going inside. Got dried it. herbs, because dried herbs go in food that's going to cook for a while. This usually yes. takes about two hours, so. Oh, I see. So you, this is something we we start way ahead of time. Way ahead of time. Let it go for the whole day. Start it over. Yes. We're going to add our tomatoes to it. Oh, your speed is there, too. You are fast. Both of y'all are fast. Well, we're trying. I mean, trying to We're trying to, to impress fun. you. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just want you to like us. <laughs> So you have your tomatoes in there? Yes, I sure do. All right. Let's go ahead and add our beans. Do okay. you like beans? Well, or beans I love or no beans. 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 Kelly and I love beans. Do so you the... like beans? <sighs> a little bit. I, oh, then Kelly doesn't bit. like them much either. I, I hate beans. <laughs> <laughs> They're my least favorite. You know, because the big debate for us up north is does, does spaghetti go with chili or not? Oh. That's the well, debate up north. And what do the two sides argue? What do they argue? Crackers or okay. no spaghetti. That's okay. the that's the really? battle. Either okay, crackers so or no spaghetti. Okay, so you tell us what do you think? I think that noodles do not go with chili because then it's just spaghetti. Oh, okay. Correct. You know, except for if you're going to remix it and make lasagna like we are. Okay. So <laughs> except for so layers of noodles. Have a little. <laughs> right. I'm so confused. I don't know what to think, but the answer is yes. yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you. Yes. Okay. So you have some chili we've already made right in front. Mm -hmm. You want to go ahead and add your meat to it, right? Your favorite weapon. Yes. yes. Do you want to add the meat first? Oh. Yeah, add the meat first. Oh, it's right there in front of you. Yep, right in My shredded meat? Yeah. Shredded meat. Mine's is, I'm going to shred mine as I go. I'm going to do two in one. You put, oh, it, put it in there. there. Oh, yep, right. put it right in there. As much meat as you like. Yeah, wow. All the meat. <laughs> okay. All the meat All in the, the world. meat in the world. And then here. <laughs> Mash it up with yep, your... Yeah, mash it up. And the reason why we're mashing is because we want the consistency. Oh, my gosh, you got so much meat. This is going to be hilarious. Well, I'm just... So, I can, you're going to go ahead, my... mash it up, make the consistency a little thinner. The more meat, the more mashing you're going to need, Ryan. You are about to get the arm work out. But this is a high-protein version this of this. This is how yes. you get your arms. Is yes. that true? This is where your <laughs> arms is... come from. Make a lot of mashed potatoes Keep at least going. twice a week. You've got to really, like, get okay. in there. It's going to take a few years. Gotcha. So you want to we'll put it in here? No, no, it's good. Okay. We're going to have a finished product. Yeah, fantastic. So we'll okay. go ahead, usually, add a little bit to the bottom. Always add a little sauce when you make a lasagna to the so bottom. Sauce so sauce to the bottom. Stick. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just... Uh, yeah, put some sauce on the bottom there, right? There so you go. That's the first layer, sauce. First layer, that way your pasta does How not How many stick. layers are we built? Are we constructing? How many layers would you like us to construct? One or two? Two. Two. Okay, we'll do two today, then. Okay. So we'll Next. go ahead, put our pasta sheets on top of that. Tell you pasta sheets? I know yes. what a pasta right sheet there. is. I just, if only there was a spoon nearby. Okay, Here's a spoon. we'll do it for TV. Oh, thanks, honey. You're welcome. Fantastic. So I have three pasta sheets going long ways on mine's. Okay. Hey. Fantastic. Do you this ever is just, um, I, I know people that don't cook the pasta, they just put it in uncooked. Matters how much time you have that day. I see. If you don't have that much time, go ahead and cook it, cook but it. you don't need to cook it. So next, you're going to add some of your chili on top of it. Okay. Yep, layer of chili. Okay. Put a layer. Actually, it works pretty well. You know what's funny is this is called chili con carne. Yeah. I've never had chili without meat in it my whole life, but now you know people are putting like sweet potatoes oh, and yeah, oh, yeah. a lot of different yeah, yeah. things inside of chili. Yeah, we have vegetarian chili all the time, especially when Ryan comes over. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, mm -hmm. hopefully when I come over, you make some vegetarian chili. Well, she makes cauliflower <laughs> noodles from scratch. Whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, what's your most popular restaurant in the concept of it? The breakfast one, Super Chefs. It's a um, mm -hmm. Super Hill themed restaurant, and we do the most creative and artistic urban eclectic breakfast restaurant in America. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's assume that's good. Yep. So All right. We have two cheeses for you. Yes. We have Oaxaca. <gasps> Ooh. You don't we hear love a lot. Oaxaca. Yes. A little mixture between Monterey Jack, yes. mozzarella, you know. So we got Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the Oaxaca down on this layer, okay. and then our next layer will have Cotiga. Cotija. Oh my gosh, so nice. Yeah. What are the traits of Cotiga? Uh, it's a little bit more dry, but it has a really good pungent flavor, usually seen on like Mexican street corn. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it all sounds good combined too, doesn't it? Yeah. Lots of cheese, very good with the cheese. There we go. Then we're gonna do the same exact layer, except for we're gonna change the cheese out. Okay. So we'll put it in the oven. Okay, we'll okay. bake that. One thing I love about this show is you all have the magic oven. Oh, the magic low. oven is the, the why we are here. Finished product. Yes, he's got it right there in the magic oven. So How long did that bake? How long did it bake? Oh, I baked about 45 minutes on 400 wow, degrees. Wow, look at the, oh, the crust on the top that. and the crunchy on the I'm top. I'm starving right now. All right, well, That's guess fantastic. what? You get to taste. Um, Chef Darnell. It's a pleasure having you here. Well, hopefully I'll be back again. Um, you can come whenever you want, literally every day. All right. Today's recipes and info on Darnell's restaurants, go to kellyandryan.com. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Have